Uh, what's good? Hi guys, what's good? My name's Austin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do an oil change on your car. So first, you're going to need the oil that's specific to your car. If you don't know, you can look in your owner's manual and you'll be able to find what type of oil your car takes. You're going to need an oil filter that's specific to your car. You can also find that at a parts store, wherever you get your, uh, your parts at. You can, they, they'll be able to tell you what oil filter your car needs. An oil filter wrench. A socket wrench or a socket or a wrench of uh, some sort. A drain plug washer, for the drain plug you want to replace this every time you change your oil because uh, this is a one time use washer only. You're going to need some parts wash so that uh, you can clean up all the, the oil mess that you will get from changing your oil. And then a couple of rags and then a funnel for when you fill up your oil. First things first, you want to get some safety glasses because you're going to be working underneath the car and you might get a little bit of chemicals in your eyes, so you want to be wearing safety glasses when you're underneath the car. Alright, so second step, you want to locate where your oil cap is. It's usually going to be on top where your valve cover is. And again, you'll be able to find that in your owner's manual. Mine is right here. Whenever you lift your car up, you want to make sure that it's stable before you start getting underneath it. So I'm just going to go ahead and shake it before I lift it all the way up. And we can see that it's stable. So let's move on. All right, so the third step is going to be lifting your car so you have enough space to work underneath it. So let's go ahead and lift the car up. next step is to locate your drain plug. Honda is nice enough to have this where it says engine oil and this points to the drain plug. So this is where your engine oil is going to come out. All right, so the next step is to locate your oil filter. So it's usually going to be somewhere on your engine block, somewhere close to your drain plug as well. All right, next step is to get your oil filter wrench and attach it to your ratchet. And you're going to want to, when you're loosening it, you want to get around it and then loosen it. So again, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Okay, so what I showed you, we're just gonna loosen up the oil filter right now. Not all the way, we're just gonna loosen it until it's, uh, we can loosen it with our hands. So as you can see, I could uh, loosen it a little bit now with my hands, so this is gonna make things a little bit easier. All right, so I've got my gloves on just to protect my hands. Now that our drain plug is loose and our oil filter is loose, we're going to go ahead and loosen those all the way and they're going to let everything drain out. So you want to let your oil filter drain out so that way when you take it off your car, the oil doesn't spill out all over your seat. So you want to take it out and let it drain a little bit so that way once you take it off it's going to be empty by the time that you take it off. So now we're going to go ahead and pull the oil filter off since it stopped draining. So with every new oil filter you put on, you want to make sure that you take some fresh motor oil and just rub it around the gasket. This is going to help it seal so that it doesn't leak in the future. And also, when you're installing your new oil filter, you want to pour some fresh motor oil inside your oil filter so that way it doesn't start uh, dry. You want to have some uh, lubricant in there that way once the car starts running, it's not going to be dry when you start the car. So now we're going to go ahead and install the oil filter. So just make sure that the old gasket from the old oil filter is not still on the car because that's dangerous if you uh, install it with that on because then you're just going to get a bunch of oil leaking off. So make sure the old gasket is not on the car still.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the drain plug on. Remember, the washer. Just tighten it hand tight. We're gonna tighten it up with the uh, socket and ratchet in just a sec. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten up our drain plug now. Just make sure it's not too tight. You don't wanna damage the threads on the oil pan or on the drain plug, because it might cause some damage and it might cause some problems later on or the next time you change your oil. All right, so I'm gonna spray the oil pan with parts wash because the oil they got into the oil pan. So be sure uh, to be careful with this stuff. Uh, it's a solvent, but it's also very strong, so you don't want to inhale too much of it. All right, so we're gonna get and uh, take our funnel and we're gonna put it where our oil filler is. Just be careful not to let this shake because uh, you might spill oil and that's gonna be a little bit difficult to clean up. So just be careful when you're pouring it. So pour slowly. Okay, so obviously every car is different. You're gonna find in your owner's manual how much your car takes. This is about five quarts and that's what my car takes. So that's how much I've emptied out and that's how much we put in. So we're gonna go ahead and take our oil cap and put it back on and install it. Doesn't have to be too tight, just snug. And that's it. All right, so the last step is you wanna turn your car on. You wanna make sure that there's no oil leaking once, you, once you're done with the oil change. All right, so the last step you want to do is after you've uh, let the car run for a little bit, make sure that it's not leaking. You want to turn the car off and uh, check your oil level again, just to be sure that you have enough in there. So this is my uh, engine oil dipstick. And as you can see, there's markings. So you want to be in between these marks and that's going to show and indicate that you're okay on your oil level. So mine is uh, okay. Okay, so that's it. That's how you change your oil. Submit your video tips and tutorials at info at incmedia.org with the subject, What's Good?